Howdy, howdy. This is Blue Otter. Today we're going to be playing the 1990 DOS version of the Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail, we have, uh, you can travel the trail, learn about the trail, see the Oregon Trail top 10, uh, turn the sound off, choose management options and end. So let's learn about the trail first. Try taking a journey by covered wagon across 2000 miles of plains, rivers, and mountains. Try. On the plains, you will slosh your oxen through mud and water filled ruts, or will you plod through dust six inches deep? How will you cross the rivers? If you have money, you might take a ferry if there is a ferry. Or you can ford the river and hope you and your wagons aren't swallowed alive. What about supplies? Well, if you're low on food, you can hunt. You might get a buffalo. You might. And there are bear in the mountains. At the Dallas, you can try navigating the Columbia River. But if running the rapids with a makeshift raft makes you queasy, better take the Barlow Road. If for some reason you don't survive, your wagon burns, or thieves steal your your oxen, you run out of provisions, or you die of cholera, don't give up. Try again and again until your name is up with the others on the organ top 10. Uh, control S, you can turn the sound on or off during the program by pressing Control S. Escape key, you may want to quit in the middle of the program. If so, press the escape key twice whenever the computer is waiting for a response. Uh, and here is the organ the software team responsible for the creation of this product. Uh, so let's travel the trail. Would you like to con continue a save game? I do not have a save game. I have played this like once through just to kind of make sure I knew what I was kind of doing. Uh, how many, there are many types of people with, many types of people made the trip to Oregon. You may be a banker from Boston, a carpenter from Ohio, be a farmer from Illinois. Find out the difference between these choices. Uh, what is your choice? So let's first find out the difference. Traveling to Oregon isn't easy, but if you're a banker, you'll have more money for supplies and services than a carpenter or a farmer. However, the harder you have to try, the more points you deserve. Therefore, the farmer earns the greatest number of points and the banker earns the least. I just want to survive. Um, so I think this is basically like easy, medium, and hard difficulty. So I kind of think I want to go for the, I actually want to just go for the easy because I want to survive. I did the carpenter and everyone died. So we have blue otter. All right. So we have four people. I've got some names that I wrote off to the side. Uh, Clara, Susie, Ace, and Bandit. All right, we're going to press enter. Are these names correct? Yes. All right, it is 1848. Your jumping off place for Oregon is Independence, Missouri. You must decide which month to leave Independence, March, April, May, June, or July. And we're going to ask for advice. You attend a public meeting held for folks with a California organ fever, you're told. If you leave too early, there won't be any grass for your oxen to eat. If you leave too late, you may not get to Oregon before winter comes. If you leave at just the right time, there will be green grass and the weather will still be cool. Uh, so we're going to leave in April, which is not super early, but it's not super late. Uh, before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have $1,600 in cash but you don't have to spend it all right now. You can buy whatever you need at Matt's General Store. Hello, I'm Matt. So you're going to Oregon? I can fix you up with what you need. A team of oxen to pull your wagon, clothing for both summer and winter, plenty of food for the trip, ammunition for your rifle, spare parts for your wagon. All right, so which item would you like to buy? So let's go down the list. We have oxen. There are two oxen in a yoke. I recommend at least three yoke. I charge $40 a yoke. How many yoke do you want? And this was originally designed by a teacher. And I can see the math problems in this. All right. So there's two oxen per yoke. That's three yokes. So that's at least six oxen. Uh, I think I want, I want to get a spare set of oxen. So a spare yoke of oxen. Uh, two. I recommend you take at least 200 pounds of food with for each person in your family. I see that you have five people in all. You'll need flour, sugar, bacon, and coffee. My price is 20 cents a pound. How many pounds of food do you want? So we're going to 
uh, we're going to bump that up, just have an extra little, uh, little cushion on that. All right, so we're going to go for clothing. You'll need warm clothing in the mountains. I recommend taking at least two sets of clothing per person. Each set is $10. How many sets of clothing do you want? Well, if I have five people, they need two sets of clothing each. That means I am going to get 20 sets. So we're going to have 20. Uh, four, ammunition. I sell ammunition in boxes of 20 bullets. Each box costs $2. How many boxes do you want? Okay, so they're 20 bullets. If I do 20 boxes of bullets, that would give me 400 bullets. But I think if I do 10 boxes of bullets, that would give me 200. Given how the hunting works in this game, that's probably going to be more than I'm going to be able to hit uh and i might be able to get i might get you know what let's for let's get 15 boxes okay uh and then spare parts it's a good idea to have a few spare parts for your wagon here are the prices so wagon wheels ten dollars each wagon axles ten dollars wagon tongue is ten dollars How many wagon wheels? Let's do two wagon wheels, two axles, and one extra tongue. And space bar to leave the store. Well then, you're ready to start. Good luck. You have a long and difficult journey ahead of you. So we are at Independence, April 1st. Let it, let us, uh, first, let's look on the map, see where we are. So we're going to start in Independence, and we are going headed northwest to Oregon City. Um, let's go ahead, and we're going to, we don't need to do anything else, so let's just hit the trail. From Independence, it is 102 miles to the Kansas River Crossing. And I can already tell you right now, that is way too much food that we're going through. So we're going to, we are at filling. Uh, we're going to go to meager. So you're, you're fine, but you're not like consuming all of our food. You are now at the Kansas River Crossing. Would you like to look around? Yes. We're still doing good, so we're going to uh, continue on. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 630 feet across and 5 feet deep in the middle. You may attempt to ford the river, caulk the wagon, and float it across, take a ferry across, wait to see if conditions approve, get more information. Uh, let's get more information real quick. To ford a river means to pull your wagon across a shallow part of the river where the oxen still attached. To cock the wagon means to seal it up so that no water can get in. The water can then be floated across like a boat. To use a ferry means to put your wagon on top of a flat boat that belongs to someone else. The owner of the ferry will take your wagon across the river. Uh, let's take the ferry across. Ferry operator says that he will charge you $5.00. And that you will have to wait six days. Are you willing to do this? Not to wait six days. I think at five feet, I think we're at the threshold between fording and caulking. And we're going to try to float across the river. Long river, but we made it. You had no trouble floating the wagon across. Awesome. The Kansas River... Crossing, it is 82 miles to the Big Blue River crossing. Wrong trail, lose three days.
Clara has broke has a broken leg. Ox wanders off, lose the day. You are now at the Big Blue River crossing. Would you like to look around? Yes. We are going to continue. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 245 feet across and 4.4 feet deep in the middle. Uh, let's wait to see if the conditions improve, if it gets either more shallower or that at four feet. I I think it's at the threshold, but we might be able to do this. Float the wagon across. All right, you had no trouble floating the wagon across. Uh, from the Big Blue River crossing, it is 118 miles to Fort Kearney. And there's the little fort. I can definitely see where this is the artwork where the board game came from. Uh, I do have the board game as well. Uh, you are now at Fort Kearney. Would you like to look around? Yes. Okay, so let's let's check our supplies. Uh, we have 935 pounds of food. Uh, we still have all of our supplies that we bought. So let's hit the space bar to continue uh, or to go back. Let's look at where we are on the map. We're looking at Fort Kearney. Uh, we are mm, not that far. Okay. Let's continue on. It is cold. Uh, we're going to hit from Fort Kearney. It is 250 miles to Chimney Rock. A severe blizzard. Lose a day. Press enter to size up the situation. Okay. If it we are having a blizzard, let's kind of stop to rest. How many days would you like to rest? One. Let's continue. Uh, one of the oxen is injured. Probably slipped on some ice. There. Now it is it is green grass. We are in May. 850 miles. Or 850 food. Uh, we are going to... We're fixing to come up across... Um... Timney Rock. You have a gray site. Would you like to look? Sure. Here lies a... We don't have anything. All right. Let's keep going. You are not Chimney Rock. Would you like to look around? Yes. keep going from chimney rock it is 86 miles to fort laramie you are now at fort laramie would you like to look around yes go through and uh, keep going. For Fort Laramie, it is 190 miles to Independence Rock. Bandit has a broken arm.
And we keep going. We found some wild fruit that helps to increase our food stores, which is always a good thing. Uh, Bandit has typhoid. You are now at Independence Rock. Would you like to look around? Uh, yes. Sims tells you no better or cheese or fresh fruit since Fort Laramie. Bless me. But I'd rather have my larder full of food back east than have our names carved on that rock. Well, tis a sight more cheery than all the graves we passed. Alright, let's continue the trail on that happy note. From Independence Rock, it is 102 miles to South Pass. We found some more wild fruit. Very little water. We do need to make sure that we have all of our like canteens or whatever filled at any water spot that we found. Clara has a snake bite. Uh, you are now at South Pass. Would you like to look around? Yes. See, we our health is fair. We're in June. We're at the South Pass. Let's keep going. And the next time we have a chance to really stop and rest, uh, we will do so. So we want to go. We have a choice of going either to the Green River Crossing or the Fort Bridger. 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 Uh, so we can go. Fort Bridger, I looks like it goes a little south. And I think we're in a good spot. So I think we can go. I, I would go to Fort Bridger if I needed food. Uh, so we can go to the Green River Crossing. From South Pass is 57 miles to the Green River Crossing. So we have very little water. We lose the trail. We lost five days. Press enter to size up the situation or press space bar. Okay. Very little water. It's warm. Fair. We are in poor health. You are now in Green, Green River Crossing. Would you like to look around? Yes. Are going to we're on a little bit of like where we have poor health so we're going to stop to rest a little bit uh, let's rest for two days uh, we're going to check our supplies okay so we still have plenty of food for right now uh, we probably should start looking at hunting especially because in this game I'm absolutely horrible at it and let's look at the map and see where we are. Okay, yeah, so Fort Fort Bridger just goes way further south. So let's uh, let's continue on the trail. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 400 feet across and 20 feet deep in the middle. Uh, so you can attempt to ford it. Uh, I do not recommend that. You can caulk the river and float it across. You could take the ferry across, wait for to see if conditions approve. We've already taken a couple days, uh, so we're going to uh, we're going to see about the ferry. The ferry operator says that he will charge you five dollars, and that you will have to wait five days. Are you willing to do this? Because it's twenty feet deep, yes. Because uh, I don't want to risk that. 
And if it falls over, he better have insurance. That's all I got to say. Uh, the ferry got your party and wagon across safely. Uh, from Green River Crossing, it is 143 miles to Soda Springs. Uh, the other downside to losing that, so Ace has exhaustion, is that you're basically consuming food. A thief comes during the night and steals 86 bullets. Uh, so how many bullets does that leave us with? Let's have two. We still have plenty of bullets. Um, let's, let's go out and see if we've got hunting for food while we're here. Um, now this one's going to be interesting because, okay, I have an inner space to fire. To point the rifle is the left and right arrows above the comma and period, respectively, uh, which is what I'm going to have to do because the the 10 key, the 1 through 9 uh, pad, this computer does not have a 10 key. So, and then escape to stop hunting. So we're going to... I got a deer. And I think it's time based. Let's see if there's anything else that comes out over here. Okay. From the animal you shot, you got 66 pounds of meat. Okay, that's that's good because that kind of at least bumps up our our food a bit. Uh, inadequate grass, lose trail, lose one day. So it is warm. We are getting to the point where it is somehow. You are now at Soda Springs. Would you like to look around? Yes. Um, Soda Springs, it is 57 miles to Fort Hall. So health is fair, food, uh, yes. So let's look at uh, buy supplies. Um, I have $915 to spend. Food here is 40 cents per pound. You can see how things are, are increasing. Um, let's see if I can't get uh, for food. How many pounds can I get? 500. You have 700, 750 left to spend. Um, let's do seven again. Can we do 500 again? All right. And then we're going to leave the store because that's really the big one that I need. Uh, let's continue on the trail. So I've got plenty of food now. Uh, from Fort Hall, it is one of your ox has died. I want to look at the map real quick. Okay, so we've got, we're a little over halfway there. Uh, let's continue on. Clara's lost, lose one day. Bad water. Susie has a broken arm. Found wild fruit. One of the oxen is injured. I think we're down, we're short an auction. One of the oxen just died, so now we're down to six oxen. Uh, right, so let's see. We're going to check supplies. So, yeah, we are down to six oxen. Uh, let's continue. Very little water. 
Uh, wrong trail, lose a day. All right, space. So we are on fair, uh, inadequate grass. You are now at Snake River Crossing. Would you like to look around? Yes. All right, we are going to uh, look at the map. All right, we are about two thirds of the way through. Let's check our supplies. Doing good. Uh, we would not be here if we were on, uh, if we were anything but the banker, because we have money. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently a thousand feet across and six feet deep in the middle. Um, we are going to uh, get more information. To ford the river means to, yeah, yeah, we've already had that ferry means to put, uh, all right. So we don't have a ferry, but we can hire a Native American to help. So we are going to do that because uh, I don't trust myself. A Shoshone guide says that he will take your wagon across the river in exchange for three sets of clothing. Uh, yeah, that sounds fair. A Shoshone guide will help you float your wagon across. And do we make it? We made it. All right. You had no trouble floating across the river. Probably could have done it myself, but yeah, I, my luck, I would have, I would have fallen in, uh, from the snake river crossing. It is 113 miles to Fort Boise. Uh, Susie is lost. Lose four days. Probably why we got lost earlier too. Very little water. One of the oxen is injured. Inadequate grass. Bad water. Very little water. Bad water. Uh, you are now at Fort Boise. Would you like to look around? Yes. So we are going to, health is very poor. So let's change our rations. We're gonna go back to filling. Uh, let's stop to rest for, we'll give a day of rest. Uh, let's see about talking to people now that we're at a fort. Job, J sorry, Jacob Hofstetter tells you each night, even though I ache from the day's toils, my head is filled with dreams of the rich farmland of the Willamette Valley. I will build myself a fine, handsome homestead, and I'm certain I'll be rich within five years. Good luck on that. Okay, so we have, let's check supplies real quick. Uh, we still have plenty of bullets. We've, I think, killed one deer, and that was it. Um, so let's continue on the trail. From Fort Boise, it is 106 miles to the Blue Mountains. We have inadequate grass, inadequate grass. We're going to keep going. Keep going. It is September. It is warm. Rough trail. Heavy fog. Very little water. You are now at the Blue Mountains. Would you like to look around? Yes. starting to be September so we are going to be in a little bit colder so let's look at the map we are almost there uh, I think we're really on that final push uh, really of just a few more stops uh, so we can head for the Fort Walla Walla or we can go for the Dallas see the map uh, we're gonna go for Fort Walla Walla uh, 
because I don't know. We're going to, uh, we're, we're taking the easy way. From the Blue Mountains, it is 50 mi 55 miles to Fort Walla Walla. Lose the trail, lose four days. Okay. We're going to continue. We've got inadequate grass, bad water. Uh, you are now at Fort Walla Walla. Would you like to look around? Yes. <laughs> Walla Walla. All right. Uh, check supplies. We still good. Everything good. We good. We good. And let's continue on the trail. Uh, from Fort Walla Walla, it is 120 miles to the Dallas. Okay. Well, then I didn't need to go to Fort Walla Walla. Heavy fog. Rough trail. Rough trail. There we are. Inadequate grass. We are getting there. I always... The, the, the pixels are always just nostalgia. Uh, you are now at the Dallas. Would you like to take a look around? Yes. All right. So we are going to look at the map. All right, so we did not need to go to Fort Walla Walla. Uh, we're going to check supplies. We're good. We still have plenty of money left. Uh, let's continue the trail. The trail divides here. Float down the Columbia River or take the Barlow Toll Road. Uh, this one, we're going to, because we have the money, we're going to play it safe. Uh, you must pay $8 to travel the Barlow Road. Are you willing to do this? Yes, I've only got, I got like, Five hundred five fifteen five hundred fifteen dollars from the Dallas it is a hundred miles to the Wellmont Valley. So here we have heavy fog, inadequate grass, very little water, bad water. There, are. Wellmont Valley, October six. All right, congratulations, you've made it to the Oregon. Let's see how many points you have received. All right, five people in fair health, one wagon, six oxen, five spare wagon parts, 17 sets of clothing, 212 bullets, 216 pounds of food, 507 cash. Total 2,231 points. As there. All right, congratulations. Type your name as you would like to see it on the top 10. There we have Blue Otter. All right, there we go. Greenhorn, not too bad. Would you like to make any changes? Uh, no. All right. So with that, uh, that is the original that I could find. It does go all the way back to 71, which I believe this is probably the oldest version that I could find. Um, and we will see about uh, running another version of it in a later, at a later time. Thank you for watching.